Hello tech lovers, welcome back to Tech Talkies. I'm here today with a small project to showcase the web server and data logging capabilities of the ESP8266. In this video, you will learn how to interface a micro SD card with the ESP8266 and log data onto it. Also, you will learn how to connect the ESP8266 to Wi-Fi and start a web server. Then we link both the aspects and send data to the ESP from our phone and log it to the memory card. Let's get started. We will need a Node MCU or an ESP8266. A micro SD card module. A micro SD card. And some cables and breadboard. First, connect the SD card module to the microcontroller. Connect MOSI to D7. MISO to D6. CLK to D5. CS to D8. This specific module runs on 5 volts, so we will be using an external power supply to run both the module and the microcontroller after we are done flashing. While coding, it is relatively safe to run the SD card module using the VIN pin of the ESP8266, but it is not recommended over longer periods. Note that the card has to be formatted as FAT32. The circuit diagram and the code links are in the description if you need them. Now, let's look at the code. Download and open the project. The project contains two files. The actual Arduino code and an extra file where I have put the HTML code to maintain readability. Make sure to select ESP8266 as the board. Then we include all the libraries needed plus the file with the HTML code. Enter your Wi-Fi name and password here. In setup function, we first initialize the SD card. If it fails, the rest of the code will not run. Then we connect to the Wi-Fi. Here we send the web page when the web server is accessed. Here we receive the data from the web server and write it to the SD card. Here we send the file to the web server when it is requested for display. Then begin the server. There is nothing in the loop function as the entire project runs based on these callbacks. When the project starts up, you will get the IP address in the serial monitor. In most cases, it doesn't change if you don't have other devices added to the same network. So open that IP address from any device on the same network. I am using my mobile phone here. Here we have the web server. You can type here and send the data to be logged. Let me send a bunch of data to get logged. Now, let's request the data and check. Yup, there's all the data we sent. This is just the simplest way to use this capability. We can log sensor data such as humidity and temperature, then access the log on our phones on the local network. We can take this a step further, use port forwarding to access this data over the internet and anywhere in the world. The possibilities really are endless, but that is for another video. Comment if this video inspired a project for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content.